Hi everyone. Welcome back, to the Make It Simple YouTube channel. In today's video, I will show you a tutorial. How to add GIFs to the CapCut app. Without convert it first onto a video file, and then animate it or make it move. But before that, I hope you subscribe to this channel first, and then click the bell button, so that you get a notification, every time there is a new video from me. Ok, first of all, to add GIFs to CapCut, create a new project on the CapCut app's home screen. Here, select and add a video or a photo, that you will add the GIFs image in it. As an example, I will add this grass vector image. Ok. Until here. Don't forget to remove this cap cut watermark first. Before starting editing. Next. Open this stickers menu at the bottom. To directly insert or import GIFs from the device gallery without having to convert it into video files. Tap the add sticker button this one. Then, find the GIF image you want to add. And tap it. Yeah! At this point, you have successfully added GIFs to the CapCut application. For videos or photos that are being edited. Without having to convert it into video files first very easy, right? In the next tutorial, we will animate or give motion to these GIFs. To do that, first, at the beginning of the second or frame of these GIFs, add a keyframe by taping this button. After that, here I will reduce the size of these GIFs. Then shift the position, to the far left of the video. Like this. Ok. The next step. At the end of the second or frame, of this GIFs image. Add another keyframe. By taping this button. Next, you only, need to shift the position, of these GIFs images to the far right, of your video or picture. Now, tap on this play button, to see the results of the GIFs image, after being animated or given a motion. Ok guys. That's the tutorial. How to add GIFs to the CapCut app. Without convert it first onto a video file, and then animate it or make it move. Very easy, right? I hope this video is useful. See. In the other upcoming CapCut video tutorials. And thanks for watching.